Okay, welcome back to another edition to the Electrician Shoe Tools channel. We're going to just talk about uh, circuit breaker finders and the difference between analog and digital. And what you see before you is the is uh, two circuit breakers, uh, circuit breaker finders by two different companies, uh, Ideal Industries and Cl uh, Klein Tools. Klein just came out with this one a few months ago, maybe a year ago, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But this one has been out a long time by uh, Ideal, and I've had it a long time. And this uh, this is the analog version. They've had uh, they have a digital version too, I think too. They just look kind of like this one, uh, almost the same. But I think this is the, the, the uh, transmitter have the three little lights on here as more like a circuit, uh, a receptacle tester, or you know, to let you know if it's wired correctly or not. Uh, I think I've seen that. But uh, I think they do make a make a uh, a digital version of this one. Uh, this one works fine. I've had and it's never gave me any problems to this day. I've had these for a number of years. I got to be over ten years for sure, and it has never given me problems. And I guess you say why you went and bought another one? Well, I bought this one because Klein. This is a, a digital uh, version of their circuit finder. This their, this is their second. Uh, I think their second attempt at putting out uh, a circuit breaker finder. The other one was like a rebrand. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I wasn't even drawn to it because I, I think the uh, Harbor Freight had one look just like the one Klein was putting out. It was all black, if you remember, it was black, you know, with the Klein lettering. That's when Klein, I think Klein first started getting into the two, uh, test instruments. But um, uh, they came out, I'm looking at this digital version and I say, well, I better get me a digital version, uh, you know, uh, because this is this even though this is good and it's worked for me, it's old technology, you know. And guys, you know, we have to, as 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 electricians, we have to change with the times, you know. Just because you had a multimeter that you have in your toolbox you had for the last uh, thirty years and comes on when you put batteries in it, that don't mean it's safe. That don't mean it's accurate, you know. You have to, you know, evolve with the times. So. Even though this thing haven't let me down yet, and it works fine, well, I said I'm gonna get me another one, just in case. Uh, better technology, and you know, digital is always better than analog. So, um, and if you uh, let me give you an example, digital and analog. Um, if you can remember the re uh, remember old record player with the albums, uh, you can listen. Both of them play music out of that speaker, but. but uh, this said this would be the album version, and this would be a CD when CDs first came out. Digital, high, much better sound, much high quality, a much better a, a, a quality sound that you would get. So <clears throat> this is this is much better, like ideal, but uh, this one is much better. And uh, you know, after you've been there, been doing electrical so long, you want the tool that works the best out of the two. I would take this one, but I'm gonna still keep this on the truck with me. But I would I would use this one, and I would trust this one because the last thing you need is to have just one of these things like this with old technology, and you going out uh, working somewhere and looking for a breaker and can't find it, and now the the people wonder which uh, your, your customers looking at you like you some kind of uh, newbie, a beginner. You're making yourself look like a beginner. Well, you want something that'll work. So in this case, that's why I got this one. And if you're looking at, uh, if you, it's, it's, it's really simple to use. I always turn it on like this and I let it sit for a minute or two when I'm standing, I mean, not a minute or two, but a few seconds to let it go through a self check. But I always have this plugged inside of the, inside of the, uh, the receptacle, the light comes on and I let it sit. And then I'll go, leave, let it sit, uh, sit for about a couple seconds, go through a self check. Then I scroll up and down uh, each side of the panel twice because that's what the, the instructions tell you to do. And it never have, have never let me down. Never so far have never let me down. And the same thing with this one, except this one too would give you a little bonus. Uh, give you a GFC, GFCI tester with this one, and also let you know if it's wired correctly. Now you know on a quick. Uh, on the fly, yeah, I would use this for see if it's wired correctly. But I do have other brand circuit analyzers that would would do a, a self check of that receptacle. 
will go a much do a much in depth check uh, of that receptacle than one of these. <clears throat> so, uh, and also I like the way this stuff fits in here. You know, become one two. I like the way that fit like that. Now this thing doesn't. This one doesn't come with um, a pouch or anything. I guess you can buy a pouch for some kind of pouch online, but this one does. And matter in fact, this is the pouch right here that comes with it. So um, that's the good thing, Klein. You should put it. You should have put a pouch with this. But you know, you can if not. You can you you, you can find a tool. I mean, a pouch online that that would uh, that would go with this. This takes a nine volt battery. This takes a nine volt battery also. Uh, nine. I I hate those uh, the connectors on here the, with the two wires, negative and positive wire. I hate those. They should have had just the connectors embedded into the uh, into the unit when you're using this nine volt. I hate those because when you're trying to pull a pull a connector off the top of the nine volt, there's a chance that you might break the connector. I I, I hate that. I hate those connectors. But anyway, other than that, uh, that's one of the that's one of the cons I hate about it. This one has it, and this one has it. But other than that, they're both uh, real good circuit breaker uh, circuit breaker finders. But if I had to choose out of the two, and if you guys had to choose, you, you young uh, apprentices out there, I always go with digital, whether it's this one or it's this one. Now, I've never used the other ones that's out there. Like, uh, I have used the Greenlee one before, piece of junk. I wouldn't recommend the one that Greenlee had. That was a piece of junk. Uh, they have other companies out there. I just never used any. Uh, the Edge Tech makes one. Uh, Triplet makes one. Harbor Freight makes one. Harbor Freight, my goodness. And uh, they have a few, a, a few more companies out there. Go with a name that you know that has a uh, that has a reputation for making quality stuff. Don't just get no anything, and you know just because it's cheap and it. It looks like one of the two. It, it almost looks like, just say for example, it almost looks like the Klein. There's a lot of uh, manufacturers out there uh, cloning a lot of name brand uh, uh, tools out there, just so that the uh, the um, the guys who don't know um, will go out there and buy it. You know, don't be one of those guys that go out there and just buy anything. If you're in this trade, buy tools that's going to last and buy tools that's going to be safe. And gonna, gonna get the and the, and gonna complete the job. That's the that's the um, advice I can give you. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's the difference between analog and um, digital. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what I meant when I say about record albums, um, let's just say the analog is a multimeter, for example. This is digit. This will be digital. And uh, there's the multimeter analog will be the one with the with the needle going across, you know. So which one you would prefer? You want digital. You want digital. So uh, guys, again, I want to thank you for and and this model. If you I don't know the digital model of this one here, but this model number right here I'm, I forgot is six one dash five three two circuit breaker finder with analog receiver by Ideal Industries. And this one is the E10, I mean ET310 Digital Circuit Breaker Finder by Klein Tools. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave um, the, the uh, information at the bottom in the description for you guys who may have missed that. And just in case you want to get on go online and try to find these, but uh, guys, thanks for thanks for watching, and um, you guys take care out there. Be safe, and until next time, peace out.